Hi guys, this is video number 57 in our channel. And in this channel video, the question is why do we find fossils in the mountains? It's interesting to mention that fossils of sea creatures are found far from the ocean. Why? In this short video, we are attempting to address the fossilized prehistoric creatures in our beautiful blue marble, which we call our home, planet Earth. I have posted a couple of videos on Earth, and if you haven't watched them, I will tag it below. Please watch them because both videos might interest you. Also, please share this video with your friends and family. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do it now and click the bell icon for future notifications. Before getting into the video, I want to let you know that about 99.99% .99 of all species that have ever lived are now extinct. However, we ha have only a small portion of which has been fossil. Most fossils are not huge like dinosaurs, but there are small even microscopic fossils of plants, sea creatures, insects, etc. Even though there are large deposits of spectacular fossils that has been discovered, most times smaller deposits of and isolated fossils are found across the globe. Now let's get into the video. Continental Drift Evolution is a fact and not a myth. The evolutionary studies have revealed how animals and plants changed over eons. Similarly, land, sea, and climate have gone through significant changes in the Earth's history of 4.65 billion years. Paleontologists and even common people are finding fossils of sea creatures in land because the areas they lived long ago at the coast or bottom of the sea are no longer where they were once. In the year 1620, Sir Francis Bacon theorized that the coast of West Africa fitted excellently against the Atlantic coast, South and North America. This was the first clue that land masses might not always have been where they are now. The first person to propose that the continental land masses moved was a German meteorologist and geophysicist called Alfred Wegener, 1880 to 1930 in 1912. He pointed out that South Africa and Southeast Brazil have identical rock strata. In addition, the fossils of Dinosaur and Mesosaurus found on both continents. Secondly, the existence of coal was found in both Britain and Antarctica with further evidence. Coal forms from dead trees, but only from hot and wet conditions. Neither Antarctica nor Britain has a climate that could produce coal today. However, it was not the case millions of years ago. There were only two possibilities. Either the climate in these places were completely different then, or the land masses had moved and had once been closer to the equator. Wegener felt that unless the Earth's orbit around the sun had changed, there was absolutely no way Antarctica could have ever been warm for the formation of coal. So the only plausible explanation is land masses have moved. <clears throat> Wegener presented plenty of evidence to support his idea that the land masses on Earth moved during the long Earth's history, but he couldn't explain how it took place. As a result, his ideas were fiercely opposed by geological establishments. However, in the 20th century, further evidence of plate tectonics did support Wegener's ideas. Earth has a thin rocky crust which sits atop thicker layers of semi-molten rock called magma. Convection currents produced by uneven heating from the Earth's core cause the magma to move, dragging the crust along with it. The crust is divided into seven larger sheets called plates and several smaller ones. The boundaries between the plates are important locations in terms of Earth's geology. New rock for old. In some places, the plates slowly move apart as magma pushes up through the gap from below and hardens into new rock. This happens at the mid-ocean ridges beneath the Atlantic Ocean. The new rock often forms underwater mountain ranges with a rift in the middle. 
the rift is the productive part where the magma is streaming out. This is what causes the volcanic activity in Iceland and many other places. Where magma erupting from undersea volcanoes forms new islands. Iceland is at the end of the Atlantic Ridge. As the plates are pushed apart by rising magma, they move towards and push against the plates carrying the continental land masses. Now let's discuss how mountains form. When two plates meet, the edges crashes into each other and pushes upwards, forming mountain ranges. The edges of the plates were once coastline, but become locked in land when plates collide. The Himalayas formed as tectonic plate carrying India slowly pushed into the plate carrying Asia. This process is continuing even today. So Himalayas are growing little higher every year. At the same time, as growing mountains are worn away by weathering effects of wind and rain. The movement of tectonic plates explain how fossils of sea creatures get to be on the high mountains such as Himalayas over millions of years. Land that once the beach of an island can be become the middle of the mountain range. The rock that is now part of Mount Everest was once the coast of Asia and coast of islands of India. The rock has carried its fossils of sea dwelling creatures when it even as it has moved very far from the coast. Now let me conclude this video. The plates have not stopped moving and are not likely to stop soon either. However, they are slowing down very gradually as earth cools. They are still moving at a rate of few centimeters every year. It seems that the plates are moving in the Atlantic at a rate of about one centimeter a year, causing Europe and North America move apart. And that is causing Atlantic Ocean to grow at a rate of two centimeters. In a million years, it will have grown about 20 kilometers. In some other places, the rate of movements could be about five to 10 centimeters a year. If we, if we could zoom through time a few hundred million years, we might see Pacific Ocean has closed and the, Atlant and the vast Atlantic is widened. Fossils of fish that die on Asian coast of Pacific and creatures from the beaches of California might be high up in the mountains range, perhaps joining the east coast of China with the west coast of North America. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in my next video. Take care. Bye.